What up, people? It's Nick Ops here, and this is my A minus tier list. Let's get right into it. Now, the, the leader of A minus tier is Bane to me. Bane is a very good character. He can he can ignore projectiles like with this run right here and just pop his trait. His trait gives him access to a lot of damage, but when it runs down, he has some of the worst damage in the game. And so it's kind of like a double-edged sword. You got to know how to use it. That's why I don't think Bane is really a beginner character, even though he has a lot of beginner things. Um, he has good command grabs. He can tick off of a lot of things. Like, he can tick off of that. What a tick is, is basically if they're blocking and you do the move after and they still get hit. Like that. He can do it off of his down one like that as well. He can also do it off of his uppercut. Boom. He can also do it off of this string right here. And I think he can do it off of his overhead as well. But, or can he... Oh, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, he has a lot of ticks. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And... He um he's the type of character he can beat anybody, but he has a few bad matchups. But his damage output is so good that if you have the reads with this character, it'll go a long way. It's just the only thing that's keeping him at a minus tier is the execution that goes along with using this trait, because you have to manage that trait to make Bane an effective character. Now, that basically covers Bane. Let me go over to Robin. Now, Robin is a character that a lot of people thought were bad at first, and a few people still think he's bad. But people were playing him wrong. Um, people tried to play Robin like this aggressive character, like in your face all the time. While he's meant to play that way, he doesn't really have the frames to do that. Like, if you look at most of his moves, he doesn't have a lot of plus things. See? Only thing he has his plus is this. And he has a seven frame poke, so that's really not that scary. He gets really good damage. And his damage is just amazing. Let me show you a basic combo off of the overhead. Do something like this. Oh wait. Now, another thing about him, his timing is very anal for his combo. It's kind of annoying. But that damage is worth it. Let me try. Boom. His damage is like really good. They could have easily made this character top tier if they chose to. But like they could have made that right there a low and he would have been dumb. <laughs> Hit confirming to that like off of the low and then he would have the overhead as a mix up. But he's still a good character. It's just you got to know how to use that move right there. That move is what makes him good because let me show you. Look how plus that crap is. Plus 26. Why? And meter burn it. It's plus 40, but you really can't do nothing about it if they choose to get hit. So most Robins don't do that. But you really got to know how to make them respect this move right here and then go in for your damage. That's really it when it comes to Robin. Um, the, the people that think Robin... The people that think that Robin is bad, they don't know how to use this move right here. And they don't know when to use it. And yeah, that basically covers Robin. Now, let's get on to the next two characters. Next, we have Green Arrow and Firestorm. Green Arrow, he's a good character. He does very good damage. Let me show you right here. Lay that a bit. He does very good damage. He has very good counters on him because of this Ice Arrow. You can come in and get a combo off of that. And he has very good corner damage too, if you do the combo with this. This ain't optimal. I'm just showing you like a good example of how much damage you can get in the corner. His bow is really good to me because it does a lot of chip damage. Like look at this chip right here. Look at that, that's some beautiful chip. Now that move is unsafe, but you can spend a bar of meter to make it safe. And once you got them conditioned that, okay, I'm gonna spend the bar of meter to make it safe, you can get away with doing it like raw sometimes, just like that. 
but look at that chip i can't stop looking at it but uh <laughs> anyways but the problem with green arrow well it's not a problem there's just really no reason to play him he does everything really good good damage good counter zoning um good um plus frames because you can do this right here that's plus three and they can't really challenge with anything after that if you do a down one and yeah he has a lot of stuff the character is good but there's no reason to play him honestly that's not me saying green arrow is bad i'm just basically saying that he doesn't do anything specifically amazing to make that makes him stand out from the other characters so yeah that's enough of green arrow let's go on to firestorm now now firestorm um he's a decent character a lot of people thought he was like low-key top tier and everything but after a while people figured him out um he's not that good honestly he's okay don't get me wrong but he's not anything to be scared of is what i'm basically trying to say his damage is amazing his um mobility is good his wake up is good and his projectiles are okay but his two cons make him not scary at all his two cons are oh wait before i get on to that let me show you his damage do some base like like this right here that damage that damage is beautiful or all right drop the last part look at that beautiful damage this damage is just amazing but now let me get on to his two cons his cons are his range which is terrible his range and his mix-up all of his mix-ups can be fuzzy guarded and what that basically means is they can react to his mix-ups um the only thing that you can't react to is that these two things right here and the overhead and then the low smart people will just get hit by the overhead because he can't really do nothing after it and he gets really he doesn't get no damage really and but if you get hit by that low you're gonna be eating all that amazing damage he has and his range the bad thing about that that's self-explanatory his range is just disgusting <laughs> he doesn't have no range on anything at all and that's honestly what what is holding him back from being a plus tier if they just gave him better mix-ups a better range he'd be up there now let's get on to the next characters my bad last character we have in a minus tier is cyborg now cyborg is a really good character but well you probably know this in a pattern by now the the characters in a minus tier are good but they have one thing holding them back and cyborg it is his range and the fact that he does bad against a lot of top tiers well mainly all the top tiers he doesn't do that good against and his damage is good let me show you like a basic combo you can get um you do something like this easy damage like his damage is very good Get that easy he has some good easy damage some good zoning a good trait he has um one of the rocket moves like honestly i don't know this character's moves so let's look at it right here oh yeah see that move right there he can end his combos with that zone you pretty good um yeah he's an average basic character he'll do good against most of the cast but when it comes to top tiers, he just falls off bad. His mobility is good too, because of um, th this grappling hook right here. Like he can just get out of there whenever he wants. Start zoning you again, or get in there if he chooses. This character is good, but you know, just kind of lackluster. And yeah, that's basically it. That covers the A minus tier. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and the next video I have coming is the B-plus tier. So stay tuned for that. Nick Arps out.